Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back for another video. So today I have for you guys a weight loss update. I really like doing these videos because they keep me accountable and I just like updating you guys as to what I'm doing and kind of let you guys know where I am along this weight loss journey because it's um, definitely a process for me. As you guys know, I do have a weight loss goal that I am trying to obtain. So I just kind of want to let you guys know where I am, update you. And these type of videos, I feel like they can be very motivating. I love watching different videos like this and kind of knowing what other people are doing because it helps me along my journey. So the last time I filmed a video like this was back in May and I was updating you guys, letting you know that I was back on track and I was able to lose um, some weight and all of that good stuff. So since then, we actually went on vacation. And of course, like who really eats healthy on vacation. I mean, I know it is a lifestyle change, but when we went on vacation, I was just like, okay. I don't know, like, I just wanted to indulge in some of my favorite foods, you know, not the, I mean, the good foods. Not so good for the hips. Good to the lips, but not good to the hips, okay? So I was eating pasta Krispy Kreme donuts, which Krispy Kreme donuts are my favorite let me just tell you guys i tried dunkin donuts for the first time not too long ago and i was so disappointed i'm like who compares dunkin donuts to krispy kreme there's literally no comparison no comparison at all them dunkin donuts was so dry i was like really like who eats these who compares these to krispy kreme like there's no comparison but anyways like i was just indulging in my favorite foods and I just um, really wasn't doing what I should have been doing. I wasn't working out, I wasn't doing anything. So pretty much whenever we went on vacation, I totally got off track and I was not expecting it whatsoever. So whenever I got back from vacation, I was like, okay, Adrian, you gotta get back on track. You gotta get something that is going to jumpstart it and kind of get you back where you were. So I decided to start with the 310 Nutrition. And the reason I decided to go with that is because it has the meal replacement shakes and it also had a detox tea. And I had heard a lot about it heard some of the fitness people here on YouTube talk about it and I definitely wanted to give it a try because I knew that I was going to have to have some type of detox to get all of that just you know not so good food that I ate at the beach just to get it out of my system and you know just detox my body of it so I definitely wanted to do that and I had already been doing meal replacement shakes so that's something that I definitely wanted to continue doing but I noticed that with the protein that I was using that it had a little bit more sugar in it so I kind of felt like maybe that was holding me back a little bit and I noticed with the 310 nutrition that their protein did not have that extra added sugar so I wanted to give it a try and see if it could help me get back on track and so far I have had really great results so 310 Nutrition has a starter kit that's going to be really great at helping you with your weight loss journey. And right now you can get it for 70% off. So what's included in this is a meal replacement shake and you get to choose between vanilla, chocolate, and salted caramel. You also get the lemonade mix, the superfood juices, teas, all of this is included for 70% off. So if you guys are interested, be sure to click the link in the description box. And right now you can get free shipping with anything over $50 whenever you use my code. So yeah, I started off with that and it definitely helped get me back on track. I really enjoyed the detox tea. So I'm no stranger to detox teas. I really enjoyed them because they just kind of help flush my body out and get all of those bad toxins out. So I really enjoyed this one because it kind of has like an appetite suppressant in it. So it is going to help you not be as hungry. And I really enjoy things like that because sometimes I'm like a snacker. I feel like I do okay when it comes to actual meals. But when it comes to in between, sometimes I snack and I don't snack on the best things, especially whenever it's that time of the month. So I do like whenever a detox tea has a appetite suppressant in it because that does help me personally. So um, this tea was really great at that, really great at flushing everything out and then also keeping those cravings at bay. So I really enjoyed that. So within this video, I really wanted to share with you guys my weight loss routine. I kind of talked about it a little bit in the previous video 
video, but I actually wanted to share with you guys kind of what I do at the gym and what I do at home as far as workouts. And I think whenever you're trying to lose weight, it is important to find a weight loss routine that works for you and that you can stick to. So I just kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth with that. All right guys, so I'm here with my trainer and my workout routine consists of coming here three days out of the week. Um, I've been my trainer for a few years now. I've been about two years. It's three, been three, longer. Three, four. It's been about three, four years. So yeah, yeah. I have a love-hate relationship <laughs> with him. You make me mad sometimes, but you know, it's all a part of the process. So yeah, I come here three days a week and we normally do weight training. So you kinda wanna elaborate a little bit on what we do three days out of the week. So say for instance Monday we'll come in, we'll do a little body day. Uh just a tough, tough little body day because she can handle anything that I throw at her. Um right. say for instance on Wednesday we'll come in, we'll do upper body. Thursday, we'll try to mix it up, working on our lagging areas. You're gonna get us a good workout in today. What we gonna do today? Uh, today, we actually are gonna work on. Uh, we're gonna work on some cardio first. Okay. Uh, secondly, we're gonna go right into some lower body, which is um, something nice. And we're working on a little butt, and then we'll go into chest and um, back. guys so on days that I don't go to the gym I like to work out at home so this is my little workout space it's not completely finished but I've kind of built a little gym down here and I've really been enjoying it so normally what I like to do down here is cardio because we don't really do a lot of cardio at the gym we like to focus more on um, weightlifting so I try to get my cardio in at home so normally what I like to do is some type of exercise on the treadmill even if it's just like some type of hit exercise like going hard for a minute and then resting for a minute or I like to do different exercises like squats jumping jacks but what I really really enjoy is getting on my peloton bike because I can literally knock out 20 minutes of cardio really quick and sometimes I'll do a little bit more but I always focus on trying to do at least 20 minutes of cardio so I'm gonna go ahead and start like a normal workout on my peloton bike kind of show you guys what that consists of so let me go ahead and get started with that So today I'm gonna do an on-demand ride so I just want something really quick so I'm going to go to the length and I'm going to choose 20 minutes and then I just go through this list of instructors and I just find the 20 minute ride that I want to do. guys so that was a quick little at home workout a little bit of cardio on the peloton I did 20 minutes then a little bit of abs and then some squats for my butt after I do my workout I always make sure that I get a little bit of protein in so now I'm gonna go make the protein shake as you guys can tell out of breath because that was 
that was a pretty good workout. I burned probably about almost 400 calories. I'm not sure because I don't have my calorie watch on, but one thing I would recommend is making sure that you're counting your calories as far as like what you're burning. That way you're not really guessing about it. But normally on a day like this, I will burn about 400 calories, normally about 250 on the Peloton bike, and then the rest of it between squats, abs, or whatever else I decide to do. Yeah, that was just a little bit more in depth as to what I'm doing whenever I work out at the gym and what I'm doing whenever I work out at home. Of course, those workouts can definitely change, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Just kind of wanted to give you guys an overall idea. So now I want to give you guys a few tips of things that have worked for me during the course of this weight loss journey because you guys know it has definitely been a journey for me from losing the weight to getting pregnant to keeping the weight off because that is most important. I feel like... Um, a lot of the times we're able to lose weight, but it's keeping the weight off that is important. So I just kind of wanted to share a few tips with you guys. I mean, of course, I'm not a professional. You guys know that this is a struggle for me. I haven't gotten down to my weight loss goal of 130, but I have been able to keep the majority of the weight that I lost from the beginning off. So I kind of wanted to let you guys know how I've been able to do that and just kind of give you guys a few tips as to what has helped me. So the first tip I want to give you guys guys is to drink more water and I know you guys are probably like really like we know this like everybody tells us this but people really do underestimate the power of water water can definitely help you whenever you are trying to reach your weight loss goals so I don't know if you guys know it or not but one gallon of water can burn an additional 200 calories which if you're on a weight loss journey you know how hard you have to work to burn 200 calories like you got to do a whole bunch to burn that so if you can burn an additional 200 calories by just drinking water then drink the gallon of water so the next tip I would give you guys is find something that you like to do as far as working out and getting yourself up and moving because that's going to be important I feel like personally for me, I have to do some type of working out to be able to lose weight. A lot of people, they can do it simply by eating less, but I don't know, for me, I have to have that extra bit of calorie burn from working out. So I think it's important to find something that you enjoy doing. Like, not everybody likes going to the gym and lifting weights. Not everybody likes getting on a bicycle kind of like me, but just find something that you like. Um, I remember whenever I tried to lose weight, like way back when, like a long time ago, I tried to do Insanity. Y'all, I hated it so bad. I hated it, but I tried every day to like get up and do it. And I just stopped, like it would be, I wouldn't even make it a week because it's just something that I did not like. So once I actually found something that I enjoyed doing, it was a little bit easier for me. I know a lot of people kind of like to do Zumba and different things like that. So if that's something that you enjoy doing, then do it. Just find something that you like to do and that's gonna kind of get you up and moving and make you burn a little bit more calories. So another thing that I would recommend is keeping up with your calorie count and then also creating a calorie deficit. So um, I don't really keep up with my calories as much as I used to but whenever I originally lost the 25 pounds I kept up with my calories big big time and um, I used an app I think it was called my fitness pal and it helped me keep up with my calories um, like what amount of calories was in what I was eating and that definitely helped me I do feel like I kind of need to get back on that and that will help me be able to lose the remainder of this weight and then also you want to make sure that you're creating a calorie deficit and if you guys aren't really familiar with that you might want to do your research on it. I'm gonna kind of explain it as best as I can. Pretty much a calorie deficit is consuming fewer calories than what you normally consume. So um, there's 3,500 calories in one pound of fat. So if you wanna lose one pound a week, you need to create a deficit of 500 calories a day. So you can burn 250 calories whenever you're working out and then you can eat 
250 calories less than what you normally eat and by the end of the week you should be able to lose one pound and one way that I like to keep up with how many calories I'm losing during a workout is by using my polar watch so um, I used to snapchat this all the time but it's just a watch that I would wear whenever I work out I still wear it actually but you put the heart um, rate band around where the watch tells you how many calories you're burning during a workout. So for me personally, I try to burn 500 calories whenever I'm working out. That way I am creating that de deficit. Um, now, whenever you're burning the calories, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna go back and eat the calories. So it is important to watch what you eat because as you guys probably all know, you cannot outwork a bad diet. So it's important to be mindful of what you're eating and make sure that you're you know, trying to eat clean and eat healthy and all of that because if you're eating you know the chick-fil-a and the starbucks and all of that it might be a little bit harder for you to reach your weight loss goal another thing that i would recommend that's really helped for me is doing meal replacement shakes so this really 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 helped me whenever i lost the first 25 pounds because it's easy it kind of takes the hard part out of keeping up with your calories you literally just look on the back of it, it tells you how many calories in it. I use almond milk for mine, so I just look on the container, it tells me how many calories in that, and boom, I know instantly. It's not really like a guessing game, because sometimes for me, I don't know exactly how many calories are in like um, the olive oil maybe that I put in the pan, or the chicken that I'm gonna eat, all of that. So it's a little bit more of a guessing game. But when you do this, you kinda have a better idea of how many calories you're actually consuming. And it's just really easy, especially if you're a person who's on the go, it's really easy to fit into your lifestyle. And um, I just feel like it helps me because I know that I'm not consuming all those extra calories. So what I've been doing here recently is just doing it a few days out of the week. Whenever I lost the first 25 pounds, I was literally doing Doing it five days a week and I just didn't do it on the weekends so here recently I've been doing it three days and I might bump it up to five days again just to kind of help me get down to my weight loss goal but um yeah I feel like doing um, meal replacement shakes just really helps and if you kind of feel like the um, protein shake that you're using the protein mix is not really getting you where you want to you might want to kind of check nutrition facts and make sure that it doesn't have too much sugar and stuff like like that um, I've really been enjoying this 310 shake because like I said it doesn't have those additional sugars in it so it's really kind of helped me get back on track and I think I'm gonna bump it up just to kind of help me get to my goal a little bit faster but um, yeah that is one big big tip that I like to give to everyone because I just feel like meal replacement shakes are super easy and you're getting the calories that you need it's not like you're starving yourself you are getting the calories and normally the protein shakes are really good so you can mix different fruits in there a lot of times I like to use a banana or something like that when I use this in the morning I just do the almond milk and the powder that's it for lunch just to add a little bit more some substance I might put like a fruit mix in it you can get those frozen fruits at like Walmart or I might put a banana something like that just to kind of make it a little bit more you know filling and kind of um, stick to you a little bit more throughout the day so you can last till supper but um yeah that's something that I think will definitely help you if you're trying to lose weight and you um, kind of want to cut down the calories. All right guys, so that's pretty much everything for this weight loss video. In my next one, I will be back, do a weigh in and kind of let you guys know where I am. I knew for this video that if I did a weigh in that it would be about the same as last time, which was 141. I really haven't gotten any lower, but I'm hoping by the end of August, whenever I come back, I can um, be a little bit lower on the scale. So I'm really excited to keep this journey up with you guys and just keep updating you guys and documenting this and just letting you guys know where I am as far as my weight loss journey because you guys know it's a struggle for me but I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna keep on trucking because I got weight loss goals trying to get fit big okay trying to look good but if you guys are interested in checking out the 310 nutrition their starter kit right now you can get it for 70% off and you can use my code to help with that um, you can get free shipping on orders over $50 so yeah all of that will be in the description box if you guys are looking 
for some new things to try out to help you with your weight loss goal. I think you will definitely like these. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.